Welcome to Finland, the land of a thousand lakes, home of hidden treasures and home of the final of the European Fishing League. The upcoming days are about one of our biggest predators, pike. <laughs> got it! I got one! Oh, big one, big one, big one, big one! It's easy, just take it easy. Yeah, 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 take it easy. We, we need that fish, yeah? We need a few like this, super. Yeah. The opening three days saw some magnificent fishing in Holland. It wasn't always easy, but we got to see some monster fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. CVC won the street fishing on day one in Rotterdam. How was this <laughs> Lexi! 14 centimeters. The Volkerak hosted perch fishing day on day two when Abu won. Yes! <laughs> yeah. oh. And day three saw a tight battle between the top two teams on Holland's Deep for Xander. Once again, yes. Abu yeah, took the honors. What, what? Oh, Great, yeah. man. The winner of each day gets five points. Last place, just one. So consistency is rewarded across all three days. Catch with Care and Abu tied for first place, both with 13 points. But CVC take first place with a greater length of fish caught. Those finishing places from leg one are now converted into time and centimetres for the finals. For each place up the leaderboard the teams finish, they win two centimetres and half an hour extra fishing time. The rules are simple. This is an out and out pike competition. Two days of fishing, and the teams need to catch eight pike to fill their card. Only pike over 60 centimetres count, and the team with the greatest length of pike after day two will be crowned champions. The venue hosting the finals of the EFL is the Finnish archipelago east of Kotka. A breathtakingly beautiful pike haven where there's a huge amount of varied water. Reeded bays, shallow creeks and rivers, huge expanses of open water and plenty of places for massive pike to be caught. The next two days will test the skill and the knowledge of the team members. As the mist clears over the forests and waters of Finland, the first team prepares for an early start. It's race leaders, Team CVC, and these guys are no stranger to competition in Europe. With a time advantage, they have a head start of 30 minutes, and to catch a fish in this early period would be a real bonus and send a message to the other teams. We are at the ramp on time, and uh, it's going to be the first day of European Fishing League. So we are very excited and uh, we have the spot very close. So we, uh, we're gonna do the first cast, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, yeah. yeah. First cast, my friend. Would you have a picture? Yes, yeah. take it easy. Oh. Yeah. Fish. Fish? Yeah. Good, good, good. Not 60. Maybe too small. Yeah, but it's a fish. If you give me the bait, I can keep casting. You yeah. can shake the fish. I shake the fish. When 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 we train, first fish. They really want the aggressive color. This is uh, Busty swim bait, Red Devil. Okay. 66. Huh? 
66. 66, okay. Yeah. Approve, we put it back. So we need to register the fish. Yeah, you need to do it. Bye bye. Fish. Shit take. Just push the bait. Yeah, two times. Jesus. Maybe still behind. The guys seem to be on fish straight away, so let's have a closer look at Team CVC. It's Pierre Mongeret from France and Stefan Trumstad from Sweden. They've won several fly versus jerk tournaments together and make a formidable team. Trumstad, or Truman as he's more widely known, is a Swedish legend. Always smiling, he's a fun character that doesn't show pressure. His super skill is spinning for pike and he's always got a trick or two up his sleeve. Pierre Mongeret lives in Ireland and is one of Ireland's leading pike anglers. He's a full-time pike guide and a master with a jerkbait. A successful pairing in many competitions, the CVC guys are already catching fish before any of the other teams have even started. Fish again. Miss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two times now. Oh, yeah. Fish. Is this swallow it, huh? You need you need to help me. We need to take care of the fish. It's not uh, the biggest, but it was so nice. Nice bite. Yeah, uh, it was a nice bite. Mm. Check it. Okay, we put it back. What's the color condition? Bye bye. And look at this. This is a really special thing I use. It's the owner willow leaf. It's a really good attractor. Especially when you have first light like this. Really nice. So far it's both baits, you know. Yeah, yeah. Back, so. I had. You have contact before as well. Oh look here. I need to change. Jesus Christ, I take this. Uh, 30 minutes has now passed, and as the first raindrops fall for the day, our next team is getting ready for their day on the water. Team Abu Garcia. Today is the day. Um, super nice weather. Feels like big pike. And um, I think Team Abu Garcia is going to make it happen. Tommy! I'm excited. <laughs> the, we got a special anthem for, for this play. It's called... Uh, the Anthem of Victory. And, and the trick is, the one that can't whistle it will catch the first pike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tobi, what do you reckon? It's going to be a great day. We got some cloud cover, we got wind, we got dropping water temperatures, the pike's going to be active, we're absolutely going to catch them. them. Yeah, 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 sure. So, let's get to our first spot. Team Abu were really in the right mood for today, but make no mistake about it, these guys are a serious threat to the other teams. <laughs> Tobias Franstam has been fishing for pike since he was a child. A pro angler since 2014, he's also a fisheries biologist, so he has the advantage of understanding pike from another angle. Klaas Klaassen is also Swedish and a long-time predator angler. He's widely travelled and very adaptable. Plus, he's a law builder too and is responsible for some very effective laws.
I'm gonna start with a Big Mac Me tail with a reversed tail. I'm gonna fish pretty slow in this area. And the rain is pouring! Big one with a re reversed uh, tail for a slower presentation. Ooh. Beautiful fish. Bye bye. Okay, first up. Feels good. Tobe, let's catch another one. Yeah. This is going to be so much fun. I got one. Ooh, no. It was impossible. We have to, it's, it's okay. It was not that big, but oh, that <laughs> it, it's so hard when they bite close to the boat and you have to keep the tension of the fish with the barbless hooks and uh, but that was not such a big pike, so. 65 -er. Yeah. Today, I start with one of my big favorites. This is a Obergagitsia Beast Twin Tail. And I like it because it's a bait which have a lot of action, even though you retrieve it. Retrieve it very slow. And it's murky water here. And sometimes when the water is murky, the pike needs time to decide whether it's gonna take the bait or not. So this is a really good bait in murky water and cold water conditions because you can retrieve it very slow. I mean, this water, I mean, I'm growing up in, in, the, in the northern archipelago of Stockholm, it's called Roslagen. And I mean, this type of fishing that we have during the, the pre-fishing days, what's like, Amazing, it was like going back to the childhood memories, you know? Because the, the Swedish archipelago, especially in, in the Stockholm region and, and further down south, has almost collapsed due to uh, a lot of... A lot of environmental issues. Yeah, See? so for us, when we came here on the first day, we were like, wow, this is amazing. These waters are, wow. I mean, the area here is like a mix of, of both the south and the north. Archipelago of uh, Stockholm. Yeah. Oh, fish turning right behind the bait. Small fish. Better? Good, they are more out. Better fish? Yeah, yeah. That's good. If it's not, if it's up properly, it's, it's better than the, than, the, than the 72. Yeah, but I put the tail on down. Do you want it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. What's wrong yeah, with that it's, one? It's... I take it easy so you don't go crazy. Ah, oh, it's done. You fight like a piece of wood. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good. good. You want to... Oh, it's... it's... Yeah, it's a nice one. He wants to jump. He has swallowed the bait. Thick. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Yeah, it is. 
Ooh, oof. That's, that's maybe 90. Yeah, yeah, it is. Mm, that's see. nice. They are here. Oh my friend. They are here. Nice. I was that's, thinking it was 80, but yeah, it's but 90. They, 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 yeah, but this Ooh, is it's really nice. One. This is what we're looking for here, and you know, oh. this is one of our top eight. Nice. Oof. I'm so happy. Yeah, me too. Hey, you are the little big man. <laughs> <laughs> right, good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Better than I was thinking. Yeah, but I could see it. it he, he really took it. Oof. Oof. I just took that, uh, that nice fish 101 on the, the Buster Swim Red Devil. Uh, on the pre-fishing, was really effective, lots of contact. And when they are a little bit tricky like this, it's good bait because you can just cast, retrieve straight. You don't have to jerk, so you can, you can try different action. And uh, yeah, it's perfect, they really like it. And this one swallow it completely, so, so that's good. It's super start, super fish. 101, if, I think for this area, it's quite big fish. So we keep on going and hopefully we get more, a few more like this. So it's super. What a start for CVC. They're definitely using their head start in the best way possible. This 101 centimeter pike puts them way ahead of the other teams. A couple of kilometers away, Pear and Mika from Team Fox Rage are the next team up to the starting line. We are actually heading out here now. We was, we was launching the boat in, in the bay here and we're gonna go out to the first spot now and start fishing because our time is nine o'clock today. Yeah, let's see what we can do for the legacy we got from Netherlands. Yeah, we are on the third place actually, so we have uh, not the worst start. We are in the middle. So this is Fox Rage, Per Tjenstrom and Mika Vornanen. Sweden and Finland fishing together with a mix of new methods and age and experience. Mika is the oldest competitor in the finals. Known as the Pike Dog, he's been a guide for 30 years and is a regular in high-level competition. Pear is a young hotshot who loves pike and is highly skilled at spin fishing. Together, their enthusiasm and experience will put Fox Rage in a brilliant position. Actually, when I when I'm start fishing a pike session, I normally like to use hard baits in the beginning because if the fish are active i think you have a really you have better hookup ratio on the hard bait and uh, for that reason i'm gonna start with i, re I have rigged up two rods actually one with uh, salmo sweeper 14 centimeter and one with uh, a salmo slider 12 centimeter in the in the parrot color and in the pie color <laughs> Can you hear the music from Jaws? <laughs> so cool, sit down. Oh, first pike up. It's a small one, but... Oh, we need it. It's the first pike. No, let's see. Oh, it's a, it's a, oh, safe, 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 good. Good, 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 good. First good, good. pike in the net. <laughs> Skunk from the shoulder. <laughs> well done. Good, Mika. I would reckon it's about 70. Yeah, yeah, first pike. They are so beautiful here in the archipelago. And uh, yeah, it's good for, good start. Let's put it back. Yeah, that was really nice to catch the first pike on the slider. Salomon slider is a really great bait and I really like to fish it with, uh, with a spinning rod. Because slider is a jerk bait, you can jerk it in, but I like to just, you, you know, wind it in slowly with, uh, with pauses. And uh, I think the spinning, spinning rod is good for that. And one good thing is that I can cast really far as well. So. It's a great combo. 
Not a big fish, but it's good to know that they're on fish and their tactics are working. Next team up is Westin, ready to launch. It's a big competition area, and interestingly, no two teams have launched from the same spot. We have 30 seconds until start, one and a half hour behind CVC, and six centimeters from the start. Yep. But uh, we're alone here in our spot. That can be really good, or <laughs> we can miss something. So uh, we have high hopes for today. We had big fish here on practice, and uh, we're just super pumped to get started. And we have 10 seconds to get 10 started. Seconds. Gotta get ready. Woo. Yep. Okay, let's win this day. Yeah. Uh, let's do it. Woo. That's a nice feeling. Get going. Team Westin are represented by Daniel Nelson from Sweden and Thomas Peterson from Denmark. Once again, a mix of energy and experience. Here we go. Daniel is one of the youngest competitors in the finals and a really versatile angler. He can fish for everything and was educated at the Sport Fishing Academy in Sweden. Thomas is predator crazy and just loves to catch pike. He's the man behind Westin and is a highly experienced law angler with a massive personal best pike of 14 kilograms. You better check for both. We are we're actually fishing a bay here uh, with uh, weeds all the way around and a lot of grass uh, somewhere in uh, in the middle. Uh, there's around two meter water, two and a half meter water, and uh, yeah, we had some really nice pike. Uh, we lost a, a big one, uh, one on our training days a couple of days ago. So uh, we have high, we are high, have high. Uh, we are confident with the with the area. So now we just have to figure out. Uh, if there is anybody home. Still. Come on. I got one. Ah, nice strike. Oh, big one, big one, big one, big one, Bobby Lyon. big one, here, no, oh, to the left, to the left. It's coming directly. Oh, nice, yes. This is a good <laughs> fish. Okay, Klaus. Excellent, buddy. Excellent. You know, the, it was that guy, St. Nicholas. He said, you should really put down your pole here, do multiple casts, and I'll give you an early gift this year. And that's called the, <laughs> the gnome fish. The gnome fish. Good. Good, good, good. Eighty-seven centimeter, beautiful archipelago pike. These pike, they patrullate these reed stands and they hunt for big roach and big bream which swim around these muddy bays. So let's put her back and go for another that's even bigger. In this type of pike fishing, the pike shows a very seasonal pattern because during winter time it's ice on these bays for maybe four or five months. And often in the summertime, the pikes move a little bit further out into the archipelago. And uh, during autumn and during the winter and until spring, the pikes stay in more shallower, protected bays uh, where they also spawn. And uh, right now we have pike, we have probably perch, we have a lot of roach, tench, bream, all sort of fish who thrive in here. And the big pikes, they are really on a feeding frenzy before the winter arrives. So this is one of the best times during the year to catch a very nice big pike. There should be one standing in here or else something is very wrong.
Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Ja. Jo. Bra. Ja. Really took the bull teeth hard. Ja. 73. Damn, son. <laughs> bull teeth gobbler. I think this is like the kind of pikes that we're going to see a lot in these areas. So, so beautiful. Look at the belly. Super, super white. It's a bit dirty also. Strange. Standing on the bottom. <laughs> 73 centimeters. Going back. So we have really dark conditions today. Lighting is really bad. So some wind and rain. Stained water. So we've had really good on motor oil uh, overall on training. So when it's even more stained water, I went with the bloody motor oil here. Or motor oil blood. Really nice, very high vis uh, red stripes on it. And also the red paddle. This gives a very, very much more like outstanding color in the water, especially in the stained water. So if it was a little bit better clarity in the water and in the weather, I would go for the motor oil burbot. Fantastic color. Quite classical, you know, with a little bit of red dot right there. But now, super stained water. I'll go with a motor old blood. And now we catch another one. It's two hours since the first team started fishing, and now Weston can count their first fish of the day. Rapala have been waiting at their spot for some time now and are eager to put their laws to the test. Then we can go, we can fish. Here we Finally. are, let's start it. Finally. Finally. Oh. First cast, first bike. We are late, we know it. And yeah. we need to get back on, on all of them with limited time. Let's do it, let's do it. Rapala may be starting last, but they have some big guns representing them. Tero Ruo from Finland and Alban Schwanier from France. Tero has been a pro staff angler since 2015 and a pike guide in Finland for 15 years. He has a very good fish brain and says he can feel the water. Alban is one of the most widely travelled anglers around. A vast amount of experience, he fishes for everything but particularly loves pike. He's a big fish angler and he never gives up. Alban, yes. we, are, we are casting few, few casts in this, this inside, in inside holes, we see, we see if there are any. Yeah. You know what? I I, I hear the app, oh, you know, no. ringing, and I don't ah. even want to look at it. I yes. know that our colleagues are catching fish. Fish directly, good, nice. Maybe yeah. It is. Mm. It was strong. That my friend. Yeah. That's eighty. Good. That could be 80. Yeah. Nice one. Just back on the same spot and a little bit outside. We missed that corner there. And uh, so there's more fish there. Super. Look at the marking. Beautiful. A bit of purple there. Oh, Ooh, shit. Bye bye. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, better. Good. Or at least 70 something, yeah it is, it is. You ready? I'm ready, I'm born ready my son. <sighs> That's 80. That's good, good, good. Exactly the same fish. 80, look at the marking, eh? they, are, they are so pretty on this water. Look at this. Oh, such a beautiful fish. Yeah, but they, this was exactly as the plan because I said we we need three over eighty here or something first spot. Oh, it's so good when everything works out. Oh, miss one, miss one, miss miss the good one. Okay, I see that. You see? You yeah, see? yeah, yeah. I see that. 
Yeah, he did not touch the bait. He came, he blew okay, on. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, try, try to cast you off. You saw the blow? Yeah, I saw the... But we have the BS... Oh, lost it. Oh, fuck. Ah, second time, shit. What is this? They, they are very picky. Oh. oh, we don't have the right color or the right vibration. Yeah. I had it twice. Fuck. Twice. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes, got it. Oh, it's a small fish. But. Let's see. Not sure if it's 60. Yeah. No, maybe not. But we, we have to measure it, because. Yes. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> first the... one, but it's so, so, the size is <laughs> yeah. not super big. To be honest, it's a small fish. Uh, it's a uh, 50. Four. 54, so it's too small. Yeah, yeah that's enough, but... N never mind. <laughs> First one. Close. Just a warm-up, just a warm-up. That's another approved pike. Nice. On the spinnerbait. Yep. Cool. We've had super good fishing on a small spinnerbait. I just uh, changed the lure to a small spinnerbait. Uh, during training, we had really, really good fishing on these uh, small uh, monster wipes with uh, small willow blades. So, we just changed, and what happened? A nice okay. pike. Uh, it's 79. Nice star. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to adapt, and you adapt. Nice. Uh. You know, Mika, I just want to say that I like to be so we can fish, you know, all the way in. Yeah. So go down a little bit with the nose. Yeah, I'm, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm turning it down. Yeah. I need to change. Oh, that was a oh. good fish. That was a nice fish. Second follower. <laughs> Definitely for the... How measure, long was measure it? I didn't see yeah. the size. 80 plus. 80 plus. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Easy, easy 80. That <laughs> was a nice fit. It was just behind the boat. So it, it seems that they, they want some action. I mean, there's no, not a single bite, no follower, no nothing in the shads. Yeah, but I was saying, you know, I'm happy that, that they are biting, yeah. and now I have two followers. Yeah. Fuck. I don't like that. But they are here, definitely. Yeah. Well, I'm mean, using lots of shads and slow motion blurs, which are coming kind of natural way. So, I mean, not, not even bite, and there's been some action in, the, in the, this uh, sweeper. So I was thinking, so maybe let's try to find some color, because now we had followers. So I think it's... Can be a matter of the color also. Now it's getting brighter, the, the weather. We had two stretches where we gonna start here and we have fished the first with one pike. And now we are just 50 meter left on this edge. So... I think we come back for that follower. Actually yeah. there's two followers and then we go behind the corner and there's really one nice, very windy. Windy bank, and we're gonna fish that one. But I think we take this one also to the other side. 
So try it one more time. Yeah. So but we need to, to find the fish or find active fish. So. Yeah. Good strike, but I think it's a pretty small fish. You know, I was talking to the Finnish embassy the other day, and I wondered if they could like talk to some of the pikes if they wanted to be celebrities, you know, join up, getting caught on TV, you know. And uh, they said, well, we'll see what we can do. We'll talk to. It's a nice fish. Yeah, we'll talk to some of the guys, and uh, this is. Petronova. They said she was very interested in becoming a celebrity, so let's really cheer for her now. And all of Welcome, you. Petrinova. <laughs> Welcome, Petrinova! Welcome! I use this color. It's called the Kotskin Karva. And it's a special Finnish color. All the pikes, they love it. <laughs> Good work, son. Well done. Well done, buddy. Good, good fish. Ah, bra hook var fan. Här är den inte ens bara gungen. Good class. Ja, det här är bättre gubbe. I'm gonna sing you a Christmas jingle if we can land this one. Is this the one Sanda was talking about? That is better, better. Yeah, I see, it's a great one. It's a nice fish. Yeah, very nice fish, good class. Just give it to me. Yeah. Oh. Good work, son. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. You know, dude. once you start dancing, you can't stop, you know. There's so many sessions I've classed fish together. We haven't made a single cast during the whole day. Without we, dancing. Yeah, we, we have just been dancing in the boat, having so much fun. And that's that's one of the secrets to a being a concept. good fisherman. It's that you gotta be committed to stay out there and you gotta do something to keep your spirits up. Dancing, singing, I don't know, doing something that keeps you going. That's one of the secrets. Keep casting, keep dancing, keep going. That's the magic. Woo! 80 lovely centimeters. We're doing great, buddy. Yeah. I think we have had a really good start. Uh, we're very confident in this area. And when you go into a tournament like this, you can't swing for the fences. You gotta have a pretty bold strategy. And we have chosen an area which holds a lot of big fish. And uh, you gotta have an attitude if you wanna catch them. You know, you can't just be drifting around, fishing too fast. I used to say that you should fish fast but slow. Like, you have to cover water, but you have to do it... Um, Thoroughly. But, but yeah, very thoroughly, very precisely. And you gotta use big fish baits that you're confident with. And uh, I think that Klaus and I, we work great as a team. He's more, he's fishing hard baits now. I'm fishing soft baits. And uh, we're mixing up size and color. And uh, we, will, we will get the aim of what this really pike really would like to eat. And when we know that, we're gonna absolutely crush him. <laughs> yeah, buddy, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Team Abu was certainly having a good time and enjoying themselves, not just catching fish, but enjoying the event too. They're currently second with five pike for 398 centimeters, just 12 centimeters behind first place CBC. These two teams are breaking away, with West in on just two fish, Fox Rage on one, and Rapala yet to get on the board. It's been a varied start for the team so far.
and we have to have to check. Oh, oh, oh fuck! Lost it? Ah! They are so picky. Yeah, they are picky, super picky. <sighs> fuck! Yeah, you can see they are not really hitting hard. They are super difficult. Ah. Feeding hour, hour is gone. Yes. You, <laughs> yes, yes. You can see that. I chased the bait. What, what bait are you fishing? No, no spoon. No wo. No wo, yeah. Good son. Is it a pickerel or it's, is it a... It, no, nah, it's probably a paper fish, but yeah. it's, it's not a biggie. No, it's a nice fish. Yeah, good. Good class. It's on the classic MacMeal version number two. This lure is actually named after my, my youngest daughter, Mio. We made a, a new version of it. Uh, a more modern look to it, uh, environmentally friendly, uh, no lead, steel balls, Cephalet 3 plus the sole, good hooks, but the same action to it. It's beautiful. Mm. Yes, love. Have I ever told you that I have balls of steel? Yeah, 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 of course. Like, accept. Look at this, buddy. That's a true warrior. <laughs> this one has gone through hell and back. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be with us. Yes. 76. What a warrior. Number six for Abu on the board, which means only two more needed for a full card. They still hold second place as CVC have also caught, but now there's only 11 centimeters difference between the leading two teams. It's uh, really tight with uh, Abu. Oh, but that's cool. Today we, it would be nice to have all over 80. Ah, yeah, but uh, that's no. We're gonna fix that. Maybe. Thing is like a line here, huh? Yeah. Better? Oh yeah, it's a good. The net. Yeah, yeah, the net is ready there. No worries. No, it's not. Ooh, yeah, it's it's it could be a good one. Be no? I don't know. I it's think it looks, it looks good on the surface when you come up. It's huh? coming here. Yeah, yeah, yeah but hey, it's, it's <laughs> take it easy. Oof. Yeah, that's good. That's eighty. Yeah, that's over eighty. Bam! Nice. Good job. Nice. It's the same place where we get the, yeah. the nice one. Good strike. Okay, turn on down here. Yep. It's only hooked here. Yeah, but that's good. Oof. That's 80, 88. You think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it, take it away. Oop. I don't wait. Don't drop the fish. Yeah. That fish, we, we need that fish. Ah, yeah. We need a few like this. Super. Yeah. Bottom super. fish. High 80. Nice fish. Oh, nice, yeah. And uh, yeah, super take. They, 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 they are just on the edge. And yeah. we have tried so different baits in the beginning, first two hours. We, we tried straight baits, small baits, jerk baits, and they went side to side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Nice. So that's cool. Okay, put it back. Yeah.
much the better one. Better? Yeah, I think so. Nice. This is better. Good, my friend. Over 70, I think. Yeah, it's 80, maybe. He took it really hard. He fight like the 101. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, fish. That was a good strike. Ooh, I lost it. Shit. Oh. That was... That was... Could maybe be 80. 80. Oh, that's okay, we, we take it more. <sighs> Shit. There's nothing you can do, huh? Just... It's okay, there's more. Yeah, of course. We take one more. Jesus. Good bite. Uh, it was a really good bite. They like this one, eh? Yeah. Unlucky. Oh, I missed one again. Jesus Christ. Did you strike that one? No, it was just. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The old boat was like... <laughs> <laughs> that was maybe Europe's fastest and sharpest strike there by Truman, but there are still fish to be caught. In the Fox Rage boat, Pear is hooked up too, but it's not the size they're after. Can be 60. Can be, can be, can be. <laughs> it's a small bite, but... Oh. Maybe 65, but... Let's we'll... see. We can't measure only 65 fish, Mika. Yeah. We need bigger. Well, hey, can you choose? No. Yeah, 65. Is it, is it yeah, the same 65. <laughs> Definitely, yes. Woo! Woo! We are catching Second them. Second fish in the card. Come on. But yeah, we need to report it. Yeah. I think it has been a net or, or in a big, there's not other marks. So maybe in a net, it's been released from the gill net. Yeah. What beautiful condition. Yes, you can see that it's been in a fishing net. Go circle like that. Yeah. Whoops, it goes. Good, Mika. I just reporting here. Yeah. We need to fill the paper, report every fish up to eight fish, and then we're gonna increase all the fish, I hope. 65 is not enough. Okay. It's, it's a future big one. And this one, because here, we are now we are a little bit outside or not outside the bay, but we are a little bit out in the bay. So the water is it's a little bit more clear here. And that's why I like this uh, pie color. It's no red or something in it, it's just natural pike. Seems to work good in clear water. Man, I love this action in this lure. Gee, my God. Oh, the, oh I missed it. Shit. Check the... Oh, boy, 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 boy. Did you see the, cir uh, the circles? No. My God, stupid me. Johnny. <laughs> yeah. A little bit better fish. Oh. Cool. Oh shit. That power pole. Oof. Oh. Oh, that's shaking, girl. Okay. No. 
Oops. Yeah, you'll see it. Woohoo! Yes! Nice! <laughs> Keep it down. <laughs> yeah, force it, I cast it then. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Oh, look, they're so strong. Incredibly strong. And the bite was fantastic, man. This one really wanted the bull teeth. Oh. Now again, the sh shakes here. Ooh. By far, not the biggest fish I've ever caught or anything, but I mean, it's so cool. Look, the barbus hooks. Super easy to get them out. Oh, it's a beautiful fish, man. Beautiful brackish pike. Look, she's so eager. She want to go right away, so just going to get her back. They're catching a lot of like between 60 and 80 centimeters. Uh, CVC, are, they're doing a really good job. 88, 81, you know, stuff like that. But here we go. <laughs> this is going to be a nice registration right here. 102 boy. Oh, so oh, I forgot to put bait. They, they know it's a bull tease. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a stunning fish for Weston and the biggest pike of the day so far. These kind of fish are very important for the end result. We have to remember that this final takes place over two days. Current standings are that CVC are only one fish from a full card and sit first on 573 centimetres. Rapala, on the other hand, have had a rough day so far and haven't caught anything big enough to score. Yeah, for this kind of fishing, fishing, buster swim, buster jerk, small uh, rubber baits, pig shad junior, whatever, this rod, this rod, instinct, 710, up to 130 gram. It has a really good backbone, it's light like a feather, and uh, uh, sensitive yeah. tip. Ooh, straight away, first cast. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> good one? Uh, that's good, 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 Ooh, good. Ooh, that's good one. That's good one. On the blue chrome. <laughs> that's a good one. First cast, my friend. Told yeah, you I want good. to switch. <laughs> <laughs> the fish are here. It's, it's crazy, huh? It take on the, I don't even move the bait. I cast and it, it, yeah. it's one, it take it. That's heavy 80, I think. Huh? I think so. Stay on, my friend, stay on. Don't see the fish, but I think it's not bad. Oh. Not big, but it's not bad. Oh, is there? Ooh, yeah, it's good. It's really nice. Take it, take it. Yeah, take it. I have it. Yes, that's a 90. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he moved. Ooh. That's Ooh. a 90 it's something. A yeah. It's, it's a little a bit... big man here. Mr. Pierre Moniaret. Look at this one. Good job. It's not that long, but it's really, uh, it's really good condition. Super condition. So important uh, to get those kind of uh, size fish because it's not so many big ones uh, so far on this competition. And uh, a 90, it's a, it's a really big fish so far. So yeah, really happy with that one. Put it back, nice fish. You know what, let's, uh, let's quickly check what the other, what the other did. No. <laughs> 
CWC 92 Westin 102 Come on <laughs> oh, uh, we, we. When did the uh, 102 got it? Uh, 20 minutes ago Okay, uh, they, Here they, they, are. they are Look where they are They are a little bit outside Yeah. Yes Yes. We need to find a place where there are fish. It's clear that there it's not, it's not the right one. The problem is the waves are so big, we cannot reach the other island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not now. Not now. We are a bit trapped because of the wind. Yeah, we are trapped here, so yeah. what, can we, uh, what can we do? Yes, fish on. Oh, lost it. Ah. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Oh. Look at my bait. Yeah. Ah, you know, he flipped, he flipped the bait like this. Ah, bad luck. I often get a questions why I reel with the right hand. It's because from the beginning, the original ambassadors were only made. Yeah. Oh, fish. Nice, one. nice, nice, nice. Uh, it's 70. Yeah, that could be it. the one. But I can take it. Really? Yeah, you can talk about ambassador if you like. No, no, let, let's focus on that one. Yeah, you know, it's not, it's not that uh, long ago when we started seeing left-handed reels in Europe. I used to fish a lot with right-hand reels as well. Yeah. How big is it? Like 72, 73? No, I don't think so. Want me to net it? No, it's okay. No, that's like a 69-ish. No, it could be like a 70. Yeah. You see, it's starting to come into effect. That kiss I gave a pike a, a moment ago, you know, pike are starting to like aggregate around the boat. I had a little bit of a uh, problem. I actually ruined the prop of the trolling motor because it's constantly bumping into pike, which are, yeah, they're gathering up around the boat now. So I gave that one a kiss as well, and probably it will spread the rumor and attract some really big pike. <laughs> Got one. It's a decent. Ah, sir, sir, sir. It's a decent. Ah, sir, sir. Okay, wait. Okay, take it. Nice class. Well played, sir. We keep on improving, class. Another one bites the, the dust. dust. <laughs> okay, we keep on catching them. I'm gonna get another upgrade now. And I'm doing a small trick of mine. Today I used the Berkeley Gulp Spray. This is the minnow flavor. And especially when it's cold water conditions, uh, it doesn't matter if it's perch fishing, sandy fishing or pike fishing, I always use this spray. And uh, when you have slow moving lures, I think it can be the difference sometimes. You know, when the, that bait is moving really slow, and that pike sneak, sneak up just behind it, and it can feel the scent and the flavor of the gulp spray. It seems like sometimes that's the trigger which make the pike take the bait. And it's working very well on this combination. Missed the fish. Hmm. Oh. 
Oh, nice. Can I have a net? Please, can yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, take it easy. Oh, what can I do? Good fish. Nice fish, good fish. Is it good? Yeah, it is. Good fish, very good fish. Oh, nice. Good, Mika. Take it easy. <laughs> well done. Thanks. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Finally, a decent pike. I need to wind in my line. I think that's about 90 plus. <laughs> oh my god. We needed that pike. It's here? Yes. Good. Seems to be pretty li lively. Individual. Oh man. Oh nice Maybe fish. Chubby fish. <laughs> yes, just 86. Cool. 86. Chubby, check this. Nice belly, beautiful fish. That's the way to go, an important fish for the card. But maybe the most important thing is the confidence in the new spot they're fishing. Can this be what Team Fox Rage have been looking for the whole morning? They've still got a bit of time left before lunch break. It was a good choice, Mika, to go here. I think so. A good feeling now. Yeah, well, good. Because it's a lot of weeds outside yeah, here. definitely, yes. The small tail baits, they've been lately, they've been good. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit, my God. <laughs> Stupid. That was a good bite. Cool. Really almost took my teeth off. Is camera ready? Yeah. Soon my rod is about to bend. Oh, there it is. Oy, vittu. Was it big? Oh, fucking hell. Looked good. The splash looked good. Oh. Oh, fish on! No, fuck. Lots of fish here. Well, we actually there's lots of lots of active fish. Oh, see, it's it's it was just about 20 oh, centimeters. <laughs> Fucking hell, stupid animal. Was it big? Yeah, the same fish, I oh, think. Come on. It's about 90 centimeter fish. That was the third time I saw the fish. Maybe we should try something. They are not going all in for the yurks. So maybe shells or something. <laughs> oh my god. That was a good cast. A good strike? No. Cast Probably a smaller small. fish. Small. <laughs> Damn near close made a backflip. I'm super pumped right now. I'm so so excited. Oh, did you see that bike? <laughs> he jumped and missed the bay. Up oh, there Damn. Probably a small fish. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thomas got me looking at birds here like a freaking ornithologist. Shit. <laughs> oh man. Did you see how big it was? Ah, it wasn't big, but maybe approved. Shit. I'm looking at some swan in there, you know? <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> Nice fish. Uh, that's why I said good cast. It's perfect through to just outside the weeds there. Oh, it's not a big fish, but I got too excited. It was shaking us just like a big fish out there. <laughs> Boy, this must be hooked from the side. What the hell happened? He came in on the side, it was so heavy out there. Strange, man. But still, approved fish. 75? 
75. Okay, guys. One more pike to the board. Good. 75 centimeters on the bolties. Came in a bit on the side. Completely fooled me. I thought it was a bit better pike out there. <laughs> so go back. They're demolishing the motor oil, motor oil blood bolties today. Just it's a bit stained water. It's just perfect with these sharp red color. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Woo. Report. But also, it's a bit scary to report because then I look at the other <laughs> other guy's score. So it could be really, really bad for us. Oh, ooh, 90, over 90. They are here. A really nice bike. Over 90, Truman, sure. Really nice bike, yeah. Did you see it now? No, oh, I, I missed it. Came, it came, it oh, came. Maybe we spot luck here. It was a really nice fish. Yeah. Over 90, something like this. It was really nice. It came so fast and it turned just there. No, no, but this is, I put the, the turn on down now. Yeah. Oof. It was a nice pike, really. So strong, the gift could work. Yeah. This yes. nice. small of the yes. Oh. Nice. We spot lock here yeah. because we are just Yeah, it's not easy with the turn. It's not so super big, but it's really It's good, it's good, it's yeah, perfect. Yeah. Look. Any upgrade is good my friend. We have two three contacts in no time here. Oi, 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 oi. Swallow it, no? He's totally inhaled it. It was the. I, I saw when it, the fish was just coming. Are you on ah. the buster or the buster swim? Uh, buster. Cool. Okay, oh, perfect. It's gone. Oh. Maybe it's an upgrade. Yeah, it is. It's 80. Oh, it's 80. Could be. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Nice. Good take. Super take. Oy, 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 oy. Mm. Oh. 88. 88, yeah, 88. Yeah. Okay. okay. Nice Oof. one. <laughs> Look at this fish. This is nice. Okay. Bye bye. Oh. Oh. What's the so name of cool. that one? Classic uh, Classic sucker. sucker. That's a high 80, that's good. Oh, that's nice, it's super, 88 is super fish. But we insist here because we said maybe it's, you had one there. Follower similar size, Oof. something like this, 90, 88. And I start fishing like a little bit bigger bait. Yeah, yeah, but that's good. But the same kind of uh, spot, huh? just yeah. on the edge of the, yeah, of the weed. Yeah, yeah. And when they go for it, they take it. This is a really nice one. It was new for this year. It's an original Buster Jerk slow sink and the color is classic sucker. Don't remember the name. No, no I cannot say Don't it. remember. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remember that name. Remember the name. Remember that name. Yes, definitely remember that name. So that's it. We're halfway through day one and it's time for lunch break. CVC have had an amazing morning with a full card of decent pike and 696 centimetres on the board. Abu Garcia also fill their card and sit well positioned on 634 centimetres and then there's a gap to Westin. They sit in third thanks to that 102 centimetre pike. Fourth is Fox Rage with just four fish for 288 and Rapala, once again, they've had a terrible start and sit well and truly at the bottom, still yet to catch.
it was tricky in the beginning and we didn't know which kind of bait they liked and after one hour we understand they want the side to side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also we find out that the fish were not so far inside. They were not on really shallow water. They were on the edge, on the weeds and so on. So uh, we took another drift a little bit more outside and uh, everything worked fine. So we have some good action uh, this morning, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof. The, we have just seen the scores. It seems that uh, CWC, they're doing very, very well. Good job, guys. Well and, done. Um, the other teams, they seem to have a little bit slower start. And the, our tactic... And I mean, the best, we haven't even touched the best part. Here. No, where the big fish lives, that's where we go this afternoon. Yeah. So stay with us in the next program, because then it's time for some fermented pike. Yeah, and until then, we're going to eat our baguettes <laughs> and enjoy. Always look on, on the, the bright side, side of pike. pike. I'm super happy with the result. This is our shortest episode to actually fish during this competition. So during these few hours, we have one, we have the competition's longest pike. We have a couple of more nice pike. Uh, so in the afternoon, we're gonna go in and fish a little bit deeper in the weeds. And then tomorrow we have a completely different plan. We're only going for big fish. So I think it's gonna be really good. CVC has been fishing really good today, really good. So uh, they also had a couple more hours today fishing. Yeah, exactly. One and a half hour more than we had. So. But they've had, uh, done a really good job. So they're the ones we're chasing right now. But I, ha I, ha I, mean, I have a good have feeling change. for this spot yeah, now. We don't have to change anything. We found decent fish. Yeah. And uh, well, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. No. But That's of right. course, it, it makes a little bit beeps that we're not yeah. setting them. Yeah. But we have a good feeling for this edge now. Yeah. And going the whole way and around the corner yeah. and hopefully meet some yeah. decent pikes. Do you think that we will be able now to go on the place where we want to fish because... Yeah, we, we'll, we'll try, try. We'll fish, fish here, few casts, and then we try to go, go that place. Because this morning we have been trapped because of the wind. Impossible to go outside. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was so rough, yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's hope that the wind, you know, get yeah, down after yeah, lunch yeah. and then we'll we see. try to go we'll out. We are try. Definitely yeah. we can try. Good. <laughs> Of the worst kind of me now.